name is Sarah Zoom and I uh, made a piece for the museum called Those That Are Tame and it run, runs along the hallway here. I wanted it to be a piece that you discovered in the museum, something that was found, not presented to you um, in, a, in a museum, in a tra traditional museum space. Um, and uh, it's a very site specific piece, it's in a location that perhaps you've never seen a piece before. It's along the, uh, the hallway and it addresses a kind of walkway as well as the intersection of the outside and the inside along the window. This exhibition and the theme is a transformation. And for you, Sana, what means transformation? Mm -hmm. Does. So in this piece specifically, I was thinking about, you know, um, a site where, you, where your whole experience of a location is transformed. So that when you get to that space, it's, something, it's a place you don't expect to see work. And your relationship to that site becomes different because you find an artwork there. Um, the thing that I really liked about the space, after looking at all the spaces in the museum, was that it's, that it's, a, it's, a, it's a journey. You know, it's a route, so it actually has this sort of beginning and end. And you, and you visually read it along a, you know, a, a traverse. Um, so as you walk along, you start, to, you start to read a different kind of vocabulary. And that vocabulary changes or shows up or reappears as you move through, through this, this length, this space. So there's a kind of transformation in the materials that they kind of, um, you know, we had talked about a kind of cellular growth, the kind of growth where you start to see forms develop, breed, die, grow. And I think that that's a lot of the ideas in these kind of, there's three sections to the piece, three phases. So in my mind, in each phase, there's a different kind of activity in terms of growth and transformation. Um. Because uh, that's, uh, uh, I think uh, since uh, your uh, partner is uh, you know like a scientist also kind of mega scientist also and uh, you must have some kind of ideas and uh, biotechnology something mm -hmm. so and uh, uh, it's uh, also and uh, something very interesting kind of issue and uh, uh, for your personal research mm -hmm. at this moment. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about the whole piece in some ways like an experiment. And this idea of transformation and experiment, that an experiment is always a set, it always starts with a question and an examination of how that question transforms in time. So the way I sort of set the piece up even feels to me like an experiment, like a live experiment. So when you go and you almost feel, you, you feel like the piece was made on the site, and it was, but you feel like each decision was sort of made in an experimental way. Um, and I, I wanted to think of this idea with an experiment, there's always this, again, this idea of growth, um, or a kind of cellular growth even, a kind of p proliferation of something and then a dying out of something at the same time. And that, that an experiment is always, a good experiment is always on the edge of failure. So to have a piece that felt like, you know, it was just barely there, um, and uh, you didn't really know how it was going to exist, that would be sort of swept up. So there are a lot of materials in it that are, um, that are very ephemeral, that you know have a kind of breeding in terms. You could blow on them and they would disappear or they would spread. So it has this kind of quality of something that spreads or breeds in the space. So, so like something that that starts very small and has a breeding quality to it. So the piece is very small, but it's actually extremely long. So it's probably the longest piece in the show. And this. <laughs> the last question, be yeah. Um. But the last question is, and, uh, since uh, this and, uh, exchange theme is a uh, transformation, it's basically related to the bodies and uh, mm. what you're thinking mm. about your bodies and mm. physical mm. And, uh, states. So mm. and, uh, if you have second life, mm. what you would be in a transformed? What kind of states? <laughs> it's <laughs> not second life right after Good question. Yes. Well, yeah. I can kind of answer in two ways. The first part, I think it's interesting because um, it, I think in my work, the transformation is about an interior kind of transformation in terms of the body. It's so this idea of how your body transforms from the interior and not the exterior. And I think a lot of the other work have a more, has a more exterior quality to it. Um, but if I was going to transform in another life, I think I would be a dog. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, because I, I, it's probably the animal that I have the, big, the closest relationship to. 
And so I think that's probably, you know, it's the most real relationship that I could imagine. Um, and I was just reading about that there was this, uh, that there was um, an emperor in Japan that had the, this, you know, is a famous story, right? That he, about the dogs, and he, and he created all these dog shelters, and that, so that's on my mind. And uh, the last question is, uh, is there a different from any kind of message to the audience uh, who is coming to see the exhibition? Is there if a you have message, any kind of message, message? Yeah, from the other artist. I think, you know, from the other artist? Or no, from, no, just from, from me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that the, for me, what's interesting about the piece is this idea that transformation or then artwork can be discovered or found in the most unlikely places. Thank you very much. Sure.